Good morning, guys, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Starfield. In today's episode, I want to give you four tips on inventory management because I was doing some social media listening as of late to see what the public perception of Starfield is. And inventory management occurred to me seemed to be a major issue in the beginning stages of the game. Decided to try and help some folks out if video helps anyone. Especially if you're a beginner, you might know these tips, but in case you don't, four tips are as follows. Number one is going to be related to the storage in your apartment in the lodge. Easy one. Number two is going to be on inventory management through your ship. Number three is going to have to do with the backpack, and this is a huge one. And number four, which is going to be the last one, I will spoiler the main story. So if you haven't played, the main story and you're just in the beginning, don't watch that. Please don't, because it has a major spoiler and I don't want to ruin it for you. But let's go to tip number one immediately because I don't want to make this video too long. So once you get to the lodge, they will allot you your uh, apartment, your little boudoir. They, you're going to have storage here. Now, one particular trait of the storage, you can tell by looking down here, it doesn't have mass, which means it has infinite space. So if you're a hoarder, like I am, you want to keep inventory, you want to keep weapons, you want to keep uh, spacesuits, you want to keep backpacks and any other stuff that you don't know if it's going to be good later on. Come here, visit the lodge regularly and just chuck everything in here. It has unlimited space. Now, most of you probably know this. If you didn't, well, you're welcome. Let's move into tip number two. Welcome to my ship. My cargo is, you can tell, is 10,720 which is more than enough to go by. Chuck in as soon as you can a couple of cargo holds onto your whatever ship you are. Now, if you want to make this a little bit better, what I suggest doing, go to skills, get your starship design rank one and then rank two. These are the easiest ones to get. You just need to put a couple of modules on your ship and you're good to go. Uh, it's, it's going to complete the challenge and unlock the next rank. Rank two is more than enough because it's going to give you access to a cargo that has one ton. Another skill I want to show you is payload. This one also. Get yourself ranked to very easy. You just have to do five and 10 jump with your uh, cargo at 75% capacity. And what this is gonna do is gonna give you additional 100 cargo capacity on your one ton module that you're gonna get. This, extremely easy. Okay, move on. Tip number three, backpack. When you have a ton on you, this is what happens. Look at my stamina bar, my oxygen at the bottom. It just, it just depletes immediately. Of course, the United Colonies is paying close Very bad. Attention. Shut up, Andrea. However, get your hands on one of these. I've got this as a random drop. Look at the perks. Assisted carry right here. Drain 75% less oxygen when running while encumbered. And look at my stamina right now. Look at my oxygen. I could run like this forever because you stop to scan something, you stop to do something else, your oxygen bar goes back up and then you can keep running. Sprinting is also affected, but it's it's minor. If you put your hands on this backpack, keep I it. Do find Doesn't that matter if the pleasing. stats are worse. I wonder if it matches this the original vision of the artist. This is insanely good. The game changed. The notice how, notice how low my oxygen. I can run forever. We had the storage, which I suppose everybody might be familiar with if not remember that you have the storage in the lodge visit it regularly and chuck everything in there it has unlimited space two try to get a one ton cargo hold is just starship design number two and a bunch of ranks into the payload skill so you get 20 percent extra cargo capacity and then i am thankful these rides are quick keep an eye for this backpack like once you get this backpack your whole life in starfield is going to change know. for the better now Tip number four is going to be a major spoiler. So I suggest for everyone that hasn't reached Vladimir in the main quest, go away now. Because this is going to ruin your uh, fun. It's going to ruin your surprise. For everybody else, I got to familiarize a bit with powers. I mainly farmed a couple of them. And I came across personal atmosphere. Oxygen pure and clean but what this does it's going to create a bubble yeah, of oxygen eyes, around you, such as so right which is going to last for about 10 10 seconds or so 
Let me sprint and burn through my oxygen. Fill that suit with CO2. Now we use it. Boom. Not only I'm instantly cleansed of the carbon dioxide and my oxygen bar is full, but it's also unlimited stamina as long as I'm in the bubble. You can consume your stamina, supposedly you have your backpack on you, then consume your CO2 as much as you want, and then once you want to refresh yourself, just pop your personal atmosphere wherever you are. Clean air and infinite stamina for you for about 10 seconds. Then you wait another 10 seconds for the power to come up, 20 seconds, and then you use it again. As far as I can tell, I don't even need my ship to manage my inventory. I could have all 10 tons of my ship on myself because I just popped my bubble. So remember, storage in the lodge, good inventory management through your um, ship building, chunk, chuck a couple of uh, cargo holds out of 1,000 from Starship Design Rank 2 on your frontier, and you're good to go. Keep an eye for the backpack and farm that power atmosphere from temples. Once you get that, you have all, all this. Really, inventory is not a problem. I'm hoping, however, that nobody that hasn't gotten that far into the main story is listening to this right now. But if you do, I'm on you. Anyway, that has been it. You lads, take care, and ladies, and uh, enjoy the game. Peace out.